Ever tried to visit a website and it just won't load? You refresh, you reboot your Wi-Fi, you shout at your laptop, like that's gonna help. But nothing works. Well, it might not be your problem. You could be caught in the middle of a DDoS attack. And today I'm gonna explain what that means. DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. Sounds fancy, but here's the basic idea. It's when a whole bunch of devices, sometimes thousands or even millions, flood a server or website with so much traffic that it crashes. And here's the kicker. Most of these devices used in DDoS attacks are hijacked. We're talking hacked smart fridges, compromised webcams, infected laptops, all turned into an army of digital zombies. And it's called a botnet. Imagine trying to drive down the motorway, but every lane is packed with fake cars just doing circles. That is what a DDoS does to a website. Real users can't get through because the fake traffic is jamming everything up. So why do people launch DDoS attacks? Some do it for money by threatening companies and demanding payment to stop. Some do it for politics, like hacktivists protesting government sites. And some just do it for the lulls, the internet version of setting off fireworks in a bin. But the impact can be massive. DDoS attacks can take down online stores during peak sales, disrupt banks, hospitals, even elections, and they can cost companies thousands per minute in downtime. The good news is that there are some defenses against it. Companies can use special scrubbing services to mitigate some of the attack traffic. So the next time your favorite site is down, don't just blame your internet. You might be witnessing cyber warfare in real time. Stay safe, stay curious.